So this has just been such a great job for this time of my life, you know, to come into a place that's so welcoming and warm. And so the reading room environment, because of how it's set up, but also because of the kinds of people that are really interested in this place, is just a really fun place to work. And also, I've really appreciated all of the wellness initiatives that you've brought, Amanda. You know, it's been so fun to go out to pub nights and all the hiking we've been doing, you know. Yeah, Utah's built for wellness. I basically, half my job's already done. People look outside the hospital, you can stroll right out the back and get your hike in. I mean, where we're sitting right now, we have a 360 degree view of the mountains. And my office in Helix actually overlooks one of my ski lines. I've really enjoyed it. I've lived in multiple cities, both in Canada and in the US, and this really hits the spot in terms of size and convenience. Yeah, I actually have some friends considering moving to Utah, and they were asking me about the education system. It was pretty easy to give them the information that they wanted because we were recently ranked number one in the uh, US News and World Report. The Huntsman is a phenomenal place for cancer care and for research, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. As breast radiologists, we help diagnose, detect, biopsy, monitor patients with the latest in technology, alongside some of the top cancer experts in the country. The Huntsman is just an absolutely fantastic cancer center. We are so lucky to have this in the Intermountain West. The Kirk Center, first off, look around, it is just a incredible gift um, that shows the community support, um, philanthropic support and community support for women's health. And so much care was taken to say, you know, this is built on indigenous land. And how can we really pay respect to the lands of Utah, the people of Utah? At the university and at Huntsman Cancer Institute, we are so lucky to have a relatively young cancer institute, a growing medical center, where we have phenomenal resources, so much support from the administration to really be able to, to dive deep into research questions, but in an innovative and um, kind of more flexible way than you can at some of the larger institutions. We're very fortunate at the University of Utah for having the first in the nation technology, uh, multi-tome racks, the Artis IR, as well as the Artis Icono, for example. It's very exciting technology that we work with. With the diverse pathology that we have, it covers a large service area of about five to six states, all the way down south from New Mexico and all the way north to uh, Wyoming and Montana. We're very excited about applying this new technology that's safe and effective in treating our patients. So, of course, it wouldn't be academic radiology if we didn't start to focus on education. So this place has been an in a innovative center for education, wouldn't you say, Paula? Absolutely. You know, I started here over 30 years ago as program director. It was a hotbed of innovation at that time, and it's just done nothing but continued. So I've heard a lot of residents speak really highly about you as their role model for education. And we're lucky to have uh, people like you and others, such as Ann Osborne, Rick Harnsberger, and Akram Chaban. Brian, that's not to mention others like Yoshimi Anzai, Rick Wiggins. They're all educational leaders in their field. People don't realize it, but StatDx actually started here from people at the University of Utah. And that innovation continues. Currently, Rad Discord is catching on like fire, and that's from our own Grace Zoo. We really are the cutting edge for education. And we also have an active global education outreach program where our faculty and our residents travel to other countries and deliver lectures to their faculty and residents as well. So most recently, we went to Uganda. That it's so inspiring and such an important mission for our department. Our faculty have also been to multiple other countries too. They've gone to Egypt, Iran, Kazakhstan, Japan, you name it, University of Utah has been there. It's an important mission that we're happy to support. I 
I really couldn't imagine a fulfilling career without exploring new exciting research ideas. We have a ton of exciting research going on here. It's a fantastic place for physician researchers who are interested in exploring new ideas. In fact, every section has some kind of clinical research going on. Edward Quigley does a 3D modeling lab where he takes MRI images and makes them into 3D models, which is really helpful for pre-surgical planning, especially in really complex cases where the surgeons aren't really sure how to approach the case. And even patients really appreciate the ability to see their tumor or fracture or whatever it may be. It's a very exciting way to bring radiology to patients, so they really love it. Hello, I'm Satoshi Minoshima, uh, Chair of the Department of Radiology and Imaging Sciences. I hope you've gotten just a small taste of the culture and many facets of being a faculty member in our department. Our exceptional faculty members are providing the highest quality of care, and our nationally renowned educators are training not just our resident and fellows, but peers all around the world. Our researchers are trailblazing new imaging technology for a better future. We've created the place not just where we have to work, but where we want to work. I hope that you too consider what it might be like to be a part of our growing energetic faculty. Thank you so much. <laughs>